And uh, yeah, we finally, well, we held off. We, we could have planted a couple of weeks ago, actually. We were probably dry enough a couple of weeks ago, but the problem is the ground temperature, um, you know, at night was down to 30. So uh, even if it's dry, you know, there's still moisture in the ground, what you think. Uh, and that first drink is super crucial to that corn plant that we don't want to chill it. So uh, we actually held off till this week, till we finally got through the 30s and um, started planting. So that corn ought to be popping out of ground here about six days. Well, when we start Monday, I'd say by uh, Saturday or Sunday, that corn will be out of the ground. You know, we learned that the high managed ground even was lacking where we babied it all the way up through it. So, you know, we, we done some pretty big changes on our fer fertility system up front on our two by two. And, um, you know, the fungicides we seen there on the contest where we gained an extra 25, 30 bushel on, on another pass there that we normally don't make. So, um, you know, it's, anybody tells you they, they know it all about growing corn, they're lying to you. I think the changes that we did should should raise a couple fertility issues that we had last year, and um, we'll see. Well, like I said, we're, we're seeing the extra benefits of uh, another pass of uh, fungicides, you know, that we didn't. So actually, it was a good thing for us, as far as our production, to have that, because we're finding out other benefits that we're getting uh, from the fungicides, the health issues, even longer than what we thought, trying to keep it healthy, so.